It says, Wherefore lay apart all filthiness and superfluity of naughtiness, and receive, now listen to this here, and receive with meekness the engrafted word which is able to save your souls. Receive with meekness the engrafted word which is able to save your souls. Amen. Now the Bible talks about us being uh, transformed. That's just changed, totally changed by the renewing of our mind. So we have to get the word of God into us. And that's going to renew our thinking. It's going, to, it's going to teach us to think like God wants us to think, like it really is. See, the world is it's, it's really all a, it's a deception. It's the God. The Bible said that Satan, uh, of second, 1 Corinthians 4, 4, I believe it is, uh, that God is the, the, Satan is the God of this world. Now, he's the God of the world, and he's God of the world system. When you say world, Satan's God of it. And the Bible says, at least the light of the glorious gospels should shine unto them, them whom Satan has blinded their, their minds. So they can't see, they can't understand about the real life. People look at this religious thing, and I please don't look at it that way just religious thing, church thing. It's something you do on Sunday. It's something you do maybe maybe a couple times a week. But other than that, we go live our lives. Look, that's not it. We're going to miss it if that's the way we think. That is not the way. It's different than that. Satan is blinding people's minds, lest the light of the glorious gospel should shine unto them. So that's what we're here to do today, just to, to let the light of this gospel come to you and minister to you. And we want to change our thinking by this word. We'll learn how to think like God wants us to think. And we'll be able to receive the things that God wants us to have. And they'll come into our lives and they'll change us. And we can have, just like Jesus said, I come to give you life more abundantly. Well, that abundant life we can have. Amen. And if you can look back at the life of Jesus and, and how he went and he ministered to, to all those. The Bible says how God anointed him with the Holy Ghost and power, who went about doing good, healing all that were oppressed of the devil, for God was with him. Just people being free, free. Well, we can be free. We can walk free every day of our lives. We can walk free of the enemy. We can walk free of poverty. We can walk free of sickness and disease and all those type of things. We can walk in the blessing of God. But it's going to take us receiving the word, renewing our minds, and letting our minds see, and that's the saving of the soul, our emotions, our, our will and emotions, uh, all of our thought life. That's what the Word is going to save. It's our soul. See, many people are, are saved as far as, you know, accepting Jesus, yeah, and, and going to go to heaven when they die. But you need your soul saved. Now, I know that sounds, that, for the religious mind, that's a why, I know that sounds silly, but it's the truth. You've got to say the soul, even to the saving of the soul. And that's what the Word of God does. It saves your soul. It saves your thinking. It transforms that. And when you start transforming that, it'll start transforming your whole life. It'll just start from there and go outward. Amen. Praise God. Now, it says, now verse 22, and here's the key. But be ye doers of the Word, and not hearers only deceiving your own selves. First of all, it's got to be the Word. It can't be some of this stuff that some of us hear from time to time. It's got to be the Word. This other stuff's not going to change you. It's actually going to hold you in bondage because we have to have the truth and it has to be from the Word of God. And we have to, we have to, to divide the Word of God uh, rightly divided. And we rightly divide it by the word itself. How do you understand the Bible? With the Bible. How do you, how do you, uh, you know, the certain verses, how, how do you uh, divide them? How do you rightly divide them? With the Bible. With other parts of the Bible. Those people come up with things that's, why well, it's ridiculous. And if you'll just, if you, if you can see them through the word, you'll know that they are. Everything that you hear and see, if you have any question about it at all, run it, just run it through the Word. 
run it through God's will, what we know is the will of God, and see. See how it comes out. If it don't pass the test, always have your spiritual garbage can and just wad it up, throw it in it. Don't want you. Because you don't, you don't fit. So, so have the word of God always as, as your final authority on everything that you hear. When people make just off-the-wall statements, we call them off-the-wall, but I tell you what, they, they've established in a lot of places, they think that is the will of God. You know, well, and I don't want to go into all that, but let's just receive the word. Now, it said, be a doer of the word, not a hearer. We can't just hear it and say, and, that, and listen, this is a part of it. And when you hear it, it sounds great. Man, if you have any, uh, if you want to look to God at all, when you hear something good, it sounds good. It sounds good. Just like when you're hungry, people start talking about food. Man, that sounds so good.